In this video, I am mostly just going to be showing some shots that I took in Fort Bragg and Mendocino. Went on a trip over the weekend, well, four days. I'm also going to talk a bit about the GFX 100. I got mine back in February, and this was my first chance to really get out and shoot it because I've been pretty much locked up inside or like walking around the neighborhood for four months. So we actually got to get out and do some fun stuff in a safe way, I think. Also, pretty much all the footage you're going to see in this video is on the GFX 100, and I'll post some tech specs in a bit. Uh, I don't think that most people care about those, but they'll be there if you care. So uh, after I forgot to shoot our travel montage video footage, because everyone knows that having generic footage of cars driving down a freeway is very engaging and cinematic and uh, we arrived in Mendocino slash Fort Bragg. So here we are at uh, the Super 8, a very classy hotel and everything in Mendocino is kind of a little bit overpriced because it's touristy or used to be touristy. And uh, we dropped off our bags and hit the road to go to the lighthouse, which is a classic tourist spot. Apparently it's really old. Um, it's actually pretty cool looking. Uh, lighthouse photos are, I think, borderline meme status with like trad landscape photographers. So I wasn't super stoked to shoot pictures of it, but it was pretty. I think you can see from these photos that Fort Bragg is like classic Northern California, rugged cliff, sort of Big Sur-like if you've been to Big Sur but more like black and rugged and to me more interesting, honestly. It's also a little bit colder and mistier. And this is in July and the temps were still awesome. After that, we went to a beach. Didn't really shoot any photos, but it was nice. The first evening during the like golden hour slash blue hour, we got out a little late. We were pretty dead. Um, we walked through this residential area through to the bluffs and there was this awesome, really soft light. It was really pretty. And the morning of the second day we went on a hike. I have a pretty hard time shooting photos in like redwood forests. Like I love walking through them, but I find composing photos in nature, nature like that hard because it's just so chaotic. There's so much going on. I did get a few decent photos. Uh, generally, I find good photos present themselves when there's unique light, especially in the forest where you need to rely on the light to sort of hide the chaos of nature. In the evening, we went to the Fort Bragg Harbor don't know what it's technically called. I think it's normally pretty touristy, but obviously there weren't as many tourists as normal. So it was pretty cool. Lots of like photographer bait type scenes with rusting iron and decaying paint and fishing boats and bright colors, faded colors.
third day, we went on a nice walk up the coast all the way from where we were staying to Glass Beach. Glass Beach is a famous, famous beach where humans dumped a bunch of glass trash a hundred years ago, and it was formed into little pebbles by the water, and people think that that's cool, so they look at the beach with the pebbles that are very colorful. Unfortunately, over time, I think a lot of the sand has been taken by tourists, so there's not that much colorful glass left, and in fact, when we were there, and because we were trying to like keep a good distance from us, from other people, and because it was hot and we were wearing masks, we didn't stay very long, and honestly, I didn't get it at all. I would probably just skip it. On the plus side, before we got to Glass Beach, there were some pretty cool views and some nice abandoned structures, seemingly military structures. So on the way there, we shot a number of photos, or anyway, I shot some photos, and some of them turned out okay. The light was pretty aggressive and honestly kind of bad, but I was happy with the compositions that I made, uh, even if the light wasn't great. On the way back from Grab and Go, we, we had to walk back, so we walked through town, and I ended up shooting a decent number of photos. I thought downtown Fort Bragg was really cool looking, old buildings, not quite as, like, stereotypically photo-y as the harbor, but uh, really cool nonetheless. And then, uh, tail end of that day, we picked up some grab-and-go, rested at the hotel, and then spent the golden hour at the beach. And on our fourth and final day, we just grabbed some photos of downtown, and from there we headed out. And of course, on the way back, we got in and out because we're in California, and that's what we do here. So yeah, I, I'm gonna add some random comments about the GFX 100, not that you necessarily care. Um, I find videos on gear fun to watch, even if they're totally pointless, and obviously everyone knows that gear doesn't matter, at least past some very, very basic level. So the in-body image stabilization is awesome. When I had the 50, I would shoot at maybe 1 125th, preferably like 1 160th or 1 180th, and with the 100, I typically shoot like 1 60th if light's slower, or even 1 30th sometimes if there's really not much light. Sometimes I do put it on a tripod, but when I do it's generally because I want to sort of put myself in the tripod mindset where my compositions are very intentional, and it's not because I feel like I need the tripod, because I won't have enough light otherwise, because the sensor's awesome and the IBIS is awesome. And I noticed the resolution showing up just as cleanliness of the image. The images just feel very transparent and true to life. I feel like I'm looking at the scene that I saw. I think if you think about a lot of the great documentary photographers, they wanted to capture things as they were, and photographic effects and imperfections were part of their work because that's what the technology allowed at the time. I think that it's very consistent with the ethos of like documentary style art photography to use a digital camera now, and I think it's also consistent to use a high-quality film camera. With the GFX, my editing is very light. I set a black point and a white point, fix the exposure. Um, 
If it's black and white, I'll dial in a curve for sure. Um, but on color, I generally just leave it linear because I don't like a lot of contrast. Fix the white balance. That's about it. Uh, these shots are pretty mildly edited because I just want to show the world as it was. I'm not really looking for too much affectation in the sort of look of the photos. I think the 100 is definitely targeted at professionals and the controls aren't even as tactile as the 50S. For instance, there's no ISO dial and I used to use that a ton. I exposed to the right, so the ISO dial was a really nice way to dial and expose to the right and I don't have that option anymore. Um, but fortunately, I can use shutter to expose to the right because now I can take way longer exposures than I used to be able to, so it works out okay.